Never let anybody see you sweat. So I was born in New York City and I lived there until I was eight years old. I realized that I was a much better talker than I was a listener. I don't know what to say, I just don't like what you're saying. Sorry, Your Honor. I ended up going to law school at Georgetown and I was a prosecutor for Janet Reno. I loved it because it was so raw. Were you cheating on her? Yeah, sure. Okay. All rise. Our show will be a mixture of education. I think you're misreading the law a little bit. And entertainment. <laughs> my main goal is justice and the law. That's been my legacy and the legacy I hope to continue into the future with the show. Julian Riley claims he was unable to give life-saving medication to his parrot after his sister locked him in her basement. Amelia Riley says her brother was drunk, violent, and needed to be temporarily confined. Okay, Mr. Riley, you are suing your sister, Ms. Riley, for $5,400 because according to you, her actions caused your bird to pass away. Tell me what happened here. That's correct. So, Your Honor, um, on the night of Thanksgiving, uh, I was over at my sister's house for a lovely evening, and uh, I expressed to her in advance, I recently, within the past few years, purchased a parrot. I became okay. very lonely. What kind of parrot? It was an African gray parrot. Okay. Um, I have a picture of it right here, All if right. you'd like to see. Mm -hmm. um, I was very lonely. Okay. Um, you know, not a lot going on at that time, and my sister, my brothers, they all have lives. They all have families, and, and I unfortunately don't have anyone to okay. share my time with. So okay. I bought this parrot to basically have company, to, to be able to speak to somebody and then speak <laughs> back to me. I could, I could have gotten a dog, but the dog isn't going to talk back to me. It's not going to be, and with the hours that I work, I have no time. It was okay. a low-maintenance pet. So you'd had the, the African gray for how long? About three years now. How long do they live? My understanding is they live uh, like a really long time. Yeah, they could live 30, 40 years from what I understand. Well, that's wild. Yeah. All right, so yours got sick. What was wrong with yours? So he came down with a lung infection. Um, How did that happen? Do you know or the doc, or the, doc, the vet? They really know. don't know. It just could okay. have been something in the air with the moisture. I, my sister invited me over for Thanksgiving. Okay. Uh, we hadn't seen each other in some time since about the 4th of July. Just life or was life there? And, uh, you, Honestly, I felt like my sister stopped inviting me to things. She would constantly you post about. There was an incident during July 4th that she claims that I got a little bit out of hand. Uh, uh, out of hand temper-wise or out of hand just out drinking of hand, or out of having hand? Having too much fun, I guess. Uh, meaning, what does she say? That you drank too much? She said that I drank too much. Okay. Um, we honestly, we all were drinking, having a good time. All right. So tell me about Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving, I expressed to her, hey, my parrot's sick. Would you mind if I bring him with me? She expressed, no, it's going to be too loud, this and that. So I politely told her, hey, I still want to be a part of it. I will, I'll, I'll come, but I have to leave at a certain time because my parrot is very sick. It needs its medication at a specific time every day. Otherwise, it could die. I went over. We were enjoying the night. Everything was going fine. We had drinks and food and everything else. And then I expressed to her, OK, it's time that I need to go. So I picked up my keys, proceeded to the door, at which time she became very belligerent started screaming at me that I'm not going anywhere, I'm too drunk, so I offered to take a ride share. Again, expressing that this is the reason that I need to get home because of my sick What do you mean parents. you offered to take a ride share? So I, she, she thought that I was too intoxicated to drink. Right, and she has your keys. She has my keys, so I right. said so I will take... Problem solved, you're taking a ride share. Why yeah. didn't you just take the ride share? Unfortunately, my house keys were on those keys. Okay. So I expressed to her that I just needed those keys from her. She took my keys then and threw them down the basement stairs. Who does that? Are you five years old? And don't talk to her directly, so go on. So I proceed down the basement stairs to get my keys, at which time I hear the door slam behind me. She had locked me in the basement. Did you lock him in the basement? OK, uh, Your Honor, firstly, um, it's not just a basement. He's making it sound like it's a dungeon. It's a, it's a guest suite. It's really very nice. Our a mother has as, stayed there. As uh, kidnapped locales go, this one's a good one? Yes, excellent. This would be great digs. But uh, in all seriousness, Your Honor, um, he was very drunk, and he was getting violent. And it wasn't just me. Um, cousins, uh, our, my, our other uh, brothers were there. My nie uh, you know, his niece and nephew, my two children, um, were terrified. <laughs> um, terrified. And 
the key incident. I didn't have his keys. We, uh, the cousin was trying to hold him back. He was getting violent. How was he getting violent? What does that mean? That's a conclusion. Tell me what he was doing. Okay, he was. They were shoving each other. Him who was? and him a cousin. And, who? and one of our cousins. Okay. First cousin. Um, and then my, our brother Levi almost got involved, and he was trying to hold them back. Um, I did miss the initial start of that fight. I was putting away stuff in the dishes. This was after the dinner. Um, oh, Thanksgiving, the source of <laughs> yeah. so many cases. Right. Go ahead. I know, we're very thankful. Um, <laughs> and um, yes, yeah, so he started, I came running, there was a whole commotion, and I see them holding him back. They say, here, I'm gonna take the keys. So I took the keys. And, and I didn't did know he ever mention taking a ride chair? No. Did you ever mention it? Yes, we said <laughs> we'll send him home in a ride chair. Which and what he did he say? He didn't want to. Coming up on Justice for the People. I, I don't think that anyone has a problem or should have a problem with you taking the keys from him so he doesn't kill himself. The Thank problem you. is that you falsely imprison him, which is actually a crime. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, Call 1-888-552-6878. This is Justice for the People with Judge Millian. We're back with the case of Julian Riley, who blames his sister Amelia Riley for the demise of his parrot. So he's making up when he says, I'll take a ride share. Absolutely. And your honor, and now he's making up that his, his house keys were on there. He absolutely would have taken off the key and given it to him. That never got mentioned. Things got way out of hand. What was he saying? I want my keys. I want, I my, want keys. my keys. I want my keys. Sorry, your honor. Um, yeah. He started screaming belligerently, um, swearing, um, saying all sorts of things that we were all against him. Um, he was getting into background things, things that are inappropriate. And what happened with the keys is he tried to grab the keys from me and I sort of knocked my hat and I threw them down. I, I don't think that anyone has a problem or should have a problem with you taking the keys from him so he doesn't kill himself. The Thank problem you. is that you, you lock him And he could have killed the... someone else. Right. And then you falsely imprison him, which is actually a crime. You lock the door and don't let him out. It's not like you called him a rideshare and said, your rideshare is coming. Uh, I'll he let you out. Take I your, don't care. You're not listening. You're not listening to me. not take the you're, ride chair. Hey, hey, you hear me? Yes. Sorry yeah, talking over me is not a good idea. I don't care what he wants. It's not as though you temporarily detained him down there and then said, I'm calling you a rideshare. I understand you need to get your, to your sick parrot. As soon as the rideshare comes, I'll let you out when you hand me the key. None of that stuff happened. Well, you just locked him in there and no, said, no, no. sleep it off. And you knew he had a sick parrot. May, that may he needs to No, you may listen. Because none of that is what you did. What you did was lock a guy in and not open up for Temporarily. hours. Temporarily. Yeah, I know, for no, hours. No, it, it was an hour and a half, okay? Yeah. Which actually, and it wasn't just me. The cousin, the Where cousins, are they? Call your next witness. They are Call working. Call your next your witness. Honor, they're working. Oh, okay. They are working. We're right. all working. You got working. affidavits from them? Anything. Do you have anything? He should sue me Do you have if it's getting him out of bed. to prove that it wasn't just me? Because you I keep have, saying that. Listen, I have texts from him, and he, he knows this is not an isolated incident. It happened on July 4th. What happened on July 4th? It's not just July 4th, but on July 4th, there was an incident almost exactly the same. Um, and what happened on July 4th is my question. Well, uh, I, had a, I had a July 4th party, a family party, um, and he came drunk um, and then proceeded to drink more. He got very belligerent. He's a very, you know, when some people drink, they can get happy. How he, was he's he a very again? Belligerent negative. is a conclusion. Tell me the he actions and things he, he was saying. He picks fights. Okay. He starts to go bring up stuff from childhood with um, the brothers and the cousins, and they start sort of playfully, and then it turns into a fight, physically even. They Fis turn into teenagers. Was there a physical fight on July? Yes, 4th? there was. Okay. And he threw Who did he have a physical fight with on July fourth? Um, him, Julian, and um, our brother. Okay, the Julian, Julian is him, but yes. who was the other person? Which brother? And Levi. Levi. And is that accurate? No, Your Honor, that is not accurate Do they, Does your family think you have a drinking problem? My sister believes I have a drinking Just problem. Has anyone else in the family accused you of overdoing the yes. alcohol? My brother Levi has, mainly because... And Sam. I'm sorry, 
Am I directing my question to you? I apologize. Your Honor, if I may just explain. Just answer my question. Does anybody else in the family think you have a drinking problem? My brother Levi has mentioned it, but again, it's because she is in his ear. Do you think you have a drinking problem? I do not. See. Do you think it's normal to be at family functions and end up in, locked up in a room and in fist fights and all the other stuff that happens in your family functions? I do not, but I, I think she's misrepresenting actually what's going on. No one was ever in a fist fight. I don't know where she's getting that from. She's making that up. She's I, making that up. I'm making that up. And if I could go back to July 4th, wow. yeah. we were all drinking all day. I did not arrive there drunk. We started drinking in the morning. We drank till the end of the night. Did we have a lot to drink? Yeah, we all did. But it was spread out throughout the day. Was there a fight? No. Were we shooting some fireworks at each other? Yes. Did anybody get hurt? No. Did anybody accuse you of being of drinking more than everybody else? Yes. My sister. No, besides her, I mean. That day, no. How about the next day? No, not the next day either. Okay. At previous family functions, my brother Levi has said something, but I've seen them talking, and then he'll come and say something. All right. Uh, so what happens when uh, an hour and a half later you're let out? What happens? I grabbed my keys. I grabbed my jacket. I stormed out of the house as fast as I could because I didn't know what she was going to do next. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. I raced home <sighs> as fast as I could. But unfortunately, by the time I got there, the infection just spread a little too quick. So you got home an hour and a half late to give your bird its medicine. You think that's what killed the bird and not the infection? So I actually have a statement from his veterinarian stating that if the, if the medication was not given at a specific time, exactly on the hour, that the infection could spread rapidly. Well, that's a true of every infection, but it was a, let me see what your vet room. Your Honor, may No, may you may not. Okay. Because I had the same. And if you can, you know what, sit down, because apparently if you're standing there, you're just gonna bark out things. I sit will... down, sit down. I'll let you know when it's your turn. If Chucky missed a dosage of antibiotics, or if he didn't get them within a few hours of missing the dose, there would be a chance of illness or even death. Yeah, of course, because Chucky has an infection. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, how you can possibly prove that the hour and a half delay is what killed. I'm sorry that you lost your, your, your yeah. African gray, and I know that you loved that pet as we love our pets. I'm having difficulty deducing that the hour and a half delay, however wrong it was to lock you in somewhere, however criminal that behavior is, there's no question that if you, in fact, had been drinking too much, you should, in fact, you don't need to be drunk as a skunk to not be driving, you understand that. Yes, sir. Coming up. No one wanted to ruin Snap. it. Oh my God, even from the seat, she can't shut up. I will let you know when a question, no, no. It's tough for you that you can't just yell out when you want. This is Justice for the People with Judge Millian. We're back with the case of Julian Riley, who blames his sister, Amelia Riley, for the demise of his parrot. Something here isn't gelling because if you are offering to take a ride share, she should say, okay, that's a solution. And if she is offering for you to take a ride share, you should say, okay, that's a solution. So I don't think ride share came up, I don't know. But somehow there's not, there's not a sober mind and with all the cousins and brothers and everybody else who says, let me call the ride share. You know, nobody comes up with that as the right solution. That's the right solution. I think that the emotional baggage between you guys is what was getting in the way. No one wanted to ruin now, it. Oh my God, even from the seat, she can't shut up. I will let you know when a question, no, no. It's tough for you that you can't just yell out when you want, tough. See, this is a problem. You know what, come up, because I want to talk to you. This is where the problem lies. You think you are in charge of everything. Your brother thinks that you are bossy beyond repair that you are maternalistic to the point where you know best and whatever else. And you may know best, certainly if he is over drinking, you certainly know best. If you're taking the keys away from him when he shouldn't be driving, you certainly know best in that situation. Coming up. There is a lot of family history here that is going to be in the way of you folks having a relationship. You keep trying, but you keep failing. This is Justice for the People with Judge Millian. 
We're back with the case of Julian Riley, who blames his sister Amelia Riley for the demise of his parrot. Let me explain something to you. There is a lot of family history here that is going to be in the way of you folks having a relationship. You keep trying, but you keep failing. And if you don't understand this, there is always going to be that problem. And I can tell that even in a situation where you should be a little bit intimidated and a little bit, you know, reserved and waiting your turn and waiting to be called upon, you can't control yourself. You know best. And that's not a great trait. And this is coming to you from someone who thinks she knows best all the time. So it's not that I don't understand the type A personality, but my God, you gotta have a break. Pump the brake somewhere, all right? I know you love your brother. I know that you felt like you were doing what was best for him. As it turns out, what you were doing was a criminal act. But as it also turns out, there is no way on God's green acres that you can prove to me that the reason your bird died was that hour and a half. You want her to pay you the cost of the bird because you say she killed the bird. She didn't kill the bird. She may have killed your self-esteem. She may have killed your feelings. The bird died not because she kept you an hour and a half. You couldn't, even the vet can't say that. The best the vet can say is that you're, you know, when you take antibiotics, if you're a few hours late, that means death? Not, no, it means, you know, it, it has to have time to grow in you to kill you. So I, I am telling you right now, as your vet, I am sure told you, because the best your vet would say for you is if they miss the dosage, then it would be ill, perhaps even death. If you don't give it to the, to the bird within a few hours of the time they were supposed to, it was an hour and a half delay. So it wasn't more than a few hours, like the vet's saying. Judge Millian's verdict when justice for the people returns. This is Justice for the People with Judge Millian. You cannot prove that her actions caused this, so I am not going to award you the $5,400 for the cost of the bird because I don't find that she caused this. Now, having said that, let me say something to you folks because you guys keep trying and you guys keep failing. Do you love your sister? Of course I do. Do you love your brother? Yes, and I okay. was forced to and, help raise And so, your let me know. Yeah, this that's... is the part. Uh, it was just a yes or no question. Okay. And so. If it is true that you are drinking too much, then don't welcome him at your house. And you have to understand that that's when you've hit rock bottom, when people won't see you, okay? And you have to understand that maybe there's a lot more than meets the eye here. There's several siblings. He talks there's about how, I ah, said. Ah, ah, ah. He talks about how you all have lives, mm -hmm. and he doesn't. He talks about how you all have families and he doesn't. There is emotional, familial baggage here mm -hmm. that you guys might want a third party, a professional, to help you guys work through so that the next time you take a stab at having a relationship, it might be successful. Verdict for the defendant. All rise. Judge Millian has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim is denied. I, I can't believe you, you took me to court. I hope like, you understand like, what you've taken from me. I really hope you do. You didn't hear her? This has been a production of Allen Media Group.